Deputies in Scott County are trying to figure out how a driver was shot and why his passenger ran off. They encountered both men during a traffic stop on I-75 after it appeared the driver was impaired, but say his injury was the problem. LEX 18's Lee Searcy has more in tonight's big story at 530. Hours earlier, around 3 this morning, Scott County deputies stopped a driver here along I-75 South for reckless driving. When they pulled him over, they say he was suffering from an infected gunshot wound, possibly a few days old. They tell us his passenger took off, running towards the pilot gas station near mile marker 129. Why he ran is unclear, but a supervising deputy told us over the phone they have to consider the man could have been running from trouble. So then when I got to work, um, we just see him all circling around the um, neighborhood. Store manager Angela Lowe didn't see the man running, but like sheriff deputies, wonders why he fled. Investigators say the driver from Ohio wasn't cooperating about how he was shot or who was riding with him. As a precaution, the sheriff's office put out a release notifying the general public about the incident. A customer came in and said that they alerted local Georgetown residents um, that um, somebody was on the run, could be hiding underneath barns or um, hiding underneath different areas and he might be considered armed and dangerous. A police canine assisted in the search. At this point, deputies are still trying to figure out what city or state the shooting occurred. When we last checked, the passenger who ran off was still unaccounted for. Angela Lowe says it's an awfully cold time to be out in the elements. I'm thinking about them. I mean, you know, you don't know what they did, but if you're in a truck, truck's nice and warm, you're probably not gonna have a coat on. So you're out here in the freezing cold temperatures trying to survive, trying to hide for we don't know what. In Scott County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.